I'm going to show you something you probably haven't been using, but it's pretty useful, so stick around. You don't have to use these tips every time, but when you need them, it's super nice. So if you find yourself in a bind, or in need of some extra help versus some monsters or mini-bosses, just remember this trick. Alright, so first off, you may not even know uh, if you kind of ignored it in the tutorial or you haven't done the shrines where it's taught, but you can actually throw items in this game. And, you know, not just weapons like this, which actually I don't want to throw that one. <laughs> Let's see. I don't really have a weapon I want to throw. I'll throw this one. How about it? So you can throw a weapon like this. And if you hit a an enemy with it, it'll instantly break. But you can also throw materials. You see down there at the bottom it says D-pad up. Select material to throw. And you can use your right stick to kind of scroll through all of your items here and select one to throw by hovering over it and then releasing the d-pad so now you have say this apple in your hand and you can throw it now obviously an apple is not not going to do any damage to anybody but this is where the items and the tips come in so let's test these out and i don't even have to really sneak here because what i'm going to show you is something very interesting and very useful. So you see these enemies, this one that's right to my right, he's coming after me, but I don't actually want to use this on him. Actually I will just so that he doesn't, uh, so he doesn't hit me here, but this is a muddle bud. And what it does is it confuses enemies. It does a, a little bit of damage too, but what it does is it'll, oh that guy's actually angry at me, but it confuses the enemies and makes them hit each other. And it'll wear off eventually, and sometimes they'll come after you if they're uh, if they're done hitting their pals. And you can actually use this on uh, more than one enemy at once. So, like I said, you just uh, start to throw your weapon and then D-pad up, and you can throw another one. So you can have multiple confused at once, and obviously it's best to do it versus... Uh, if, you, if you confuse the strongest enemy, then he'll do the most damage to other people, or the other enemies. And he'll also survive longer, so it won't waste your muddle butt as much. Well, <laughs> those beam uh, weapons are pretty strong. So once this wears off here, and this is uh, good to show that it works even on constructs. These guys are angry at me, and they see me. So the other one I wanted to show you is the puff shroom. So if we throw this, now they can't see me. Like, at all. And you see, I'm not even sneaking around. Like, you know, usually you have to sneak to sneak strike. But you can just stand behind them and sneak strike them. I don't think that actually triggered a sneak strike there, though. Alright, so see, now he's angry at me again. We'll do this again. That instantly interrupted his attack as well, as I'm sure you saw there. Let's see if I can actually do this. Okay, that was a sneak strike. So, as you can see, it's very good. Very good for uh, getting sneak strikes. And also, this guy's just kind of clueless over here. Um, but of course, just like any other material, or most every other material, you can also add these to your bow, or to arrows. So, you know, you can do it with bombs, which is really useful. But if you... Well, let's go to a new group of enemies, actually. So we can see this effect better. Alright, so now they've seen me. And these guys are pretty strong over here. Uh, I'm actually going to take out this arrow cuda thing so that it doesn't interrupt me here. Alright, so you see this guy? He's, he's very angry at me. But what if I wanted to confuse this guy over here? So now, he's confused. And I did it from a long range. And there's actually constructs here too, and the constructs will even fight the other enemy types, which is pretty interesting. Even the tree! Although this guy's still angry at me, so I'm going to throw a muddle butt at him too. And I've got two of them confused, and nothing's attacking me. So I can just sit here, oh well that guy's angry at me, he found me. But, but everybody else is completely ignoring me, and just fighting amongst themselves. And usually, oh, that almost hit me. Usually, uh, different enemy types will continue attacking each other. 
but uh, same enemy types, so same factions like uh, Bokoblins and Moblins, like the, the humanoid type creatures, they'll stop attacking each other once the confusion wears off. But as you can see, uh, the soldier constructs here, actually I think that's a captain one, but anyways, the constructs will continue fighting after they're done being confused. And they might even uh, continue regardless. But if you do get too close, you, you will get spotted again. But that's no issue. Oh! Because you could just escape. Or use this opportunity to sneak strike them. Now, I'm actually not sure. If, if he stands up here, can I do it again? I can! So you can just constantly just walk around and sneak strike with those. Very, very useful. And these guys are still fighting over here. Now, I know in the tutorial shrine, it shows you how to make fire arrows with the fire fruit, right? Like this. And it sets them on fire, of course. But I actually have not tried this yet. So we're going to learn together here. Well, I missed. But it does look like it does work indeed. So you don't need to waste an arrow if you're close enough. Okay, you, you can't do that in midair. Uh, let's... What else do we have here? Let's see if an ice fruit works. Well, again, I missed. They're a little tricky to aim sometimes, but not too bad. Ow. I'm lucky that's just like a rusty claymore or something. What else should we use? I wonder if a splash fruit does anything to a construct. It does not. <laughs> good, good to know. But yeah, so th those are the main two tricks I wanted to show you. Well, I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys, and then I'll meet you in the Korok Forest. Okay, so you've made it to the Great Deku Tree in the Korok Forest. Right here. And there's a couple of quests here before uh, you can get to where I am, so I'm not going to spoil you on that. But once you're here, you will do a quest for this guy, who will basically tell you to go find these two, these two items here, which are, you know, just right around here. And they have a very interesting and, I believe, unique ability. So, you know, if you if you look through all my weapons here, uh, maybe without trying to spoil too much here, but, you know, you got Flurry Rush, you've got Sneak Strike, you've got Zonite Powered, uh, Strong Fusion, but... For these, we have something called Fuse Recycling, and it's pretty interesting and pretty strong. So it's using the same two things I showed you earlier, the Puff Shroom and the Muddle Bud. Now, you can use other stuff like the Bomb Flower, but you're going to blow yourself up if you try that. Uh, you can use the Shock Fruit, Ice Fruit, Fire Fruit, any of the uh, elemental things on this, anything that would run out, basically. But for this, we are going to go ahead and fuse a puff shroom I think to one of these and then a puff sh or a uh, a muddle bud to the other one so let's see here all right so I'll drop one of each of these and I will use one of each of them on the other weapon perfect all right so usually and now of course they're asleep so it's not uh, gonna be a great display here I'll have to wake them up but usually, these are one-use things, and I don't don't think I have a bear weapon. Well, I can use this. I'll show you. We'll just use one of these again. So if I sh if I fuse this to just a regular weapon here, and I do this, it it works, you know, just fine. But it goes away. It, it's it's one-time use. As you see, it's it's not on this this sword anymore. But if I go and use the Forest Dweller Sword, and actually hit something here. Now they're all confused, but it's still attached to my weapon here. And that's because it allows you to use it multiple times. Now you see, when I'm using it here, it's not recharged, so it has to recharge. Now it's got its color back, it's not uh, black anymore, so I can use it again. But see how it kind of goes black or burnt looking there? 
that means it's it's got to recharge. And same thing for the Forest Dweller Spear. Actually, this one's still recharging. Oh, there we go. But I can use that, and then... I'm not sure if this one takes the entire duration of the confusion to actually uh, regenerate or not. No, it doesn't. Maybe you just have to have it equipped while it's uh, doing that. Let's see if I can confuse this big guy here. Oh, yeah. Although he's angry at me. Let's see if he actually still hits me. Oh, no, he's, he's angry at his people. He just took out, like, three guys. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, you can kind of tell this is really strong and really fun. And if you have the... Uh, well, either of them, really. And you don't have an enemy, like... You don't want to get too close to the enemy for whatever reason. I don't know, maybe he has a shock weapon or something. You can actually just do a strong attack and hit the ground with it. Like this. And because it's got such a wide area of effect, it still works out just fine. Let's try this out again. Oh, it wasn't recharged. Yeah, I guess you have to hold it out for it to recharge. He was just on the edge of it earlier, which I think is why the sneak strike wasn't working. There we go. Okay. Well, go ahead and stand. I think he's like, what the? This box is definitely in the way here. But he is dead. And. I guess that's the first time I defeated one of those. Nice. Pretty freaking strong, these two items. And like I said, you don't have to have these spears, uh, the spear and the, the forest dweller, dweller sword, but if you do, they come back time and time again until the sword breaks. So it allows you to use, like if you're, if you're low on these materials, uh, which obviously I'm not, because I've explored the depths quite a bit, and that's where you get these. But if you're low on them, you can just put them on a weapon, on one of these weapons specifically, with Fuse Recycling, and it will last for quite a while. Well, that's pretty much it. I maybe rambled a little too much there, so sorry for the long video for a short topic, but thanks for watching, and I hope it helped out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks like this in the future, and we'll see you next time.